Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, this is Joe and Jay Outspoken. You can check out all of our media channels at Linktree forward slash Joe and Jay Outspoken. Today's show, well, what is today's show going to be about, Joe? America misinformed. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about misinformation. Misinformation. Uh, oof. Yeah, you know, uh, clearly that not never from Joe happens. and Jay. Clearly not from Joe and Jay, man, because, you know, <laughs> so sometimes we might say something that's incorrect, but then you'll, I know that you'll put something up saying like, yeah, he's a dummy. He didn't know what he was talking about. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, um, we try, we try to correct our mistakes. We don't purposefully <laughs> try to do anything. And just kind of like with, uh, gosh, it's been a while ago now, but the whole, you know, um, uh, shooting and all that stuff at the president, um, we did not say anything about that right away because we were trying to get all the you know, all the actual information that was going on. Yeah, that, we're professionals, so. uh, but I am six foot tall. That is not misinformation. That is true. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> we yeah. should get into this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's do it, buddy. Let's talk about it. All right, let's do it. everybody welcome back here we go with some misinformation not ours no clearly not ours so All the media channels that are out there oh man so you know there, there's so much stuff that goes on out there misinformation and especially now that we're in the um season of campaigning right and and uh with november just around the corner um we have so much that's coming out right um even now we have we have certain political uh idiots to you know so to, <laughs> i can find it. a nicer word uh we have so, so many people and, and these are people that have been washed out um that have lost in the past or, or just they're trying to remain relevant in some oh, way yeah. um for example the very famous hillary Hillary clinton right um killery yeah she she's she's still feeding out in public about that whole Russian collusion. She's she did it back in 2016 with Trump. She she's doing it now with with like certain uh, people that are in Congress that are that are um, campaigning now. And like it, it's just nonstop like that's her go to, you know, and, and, and the thing is that it, it's so funny how you have um me, the media, major media out there who just, they, they feed off that, man. It's like, you know how you, you throw those little, those remember that when you, when you had little fish bowls and you throw those little flakes oh, yeah. and those fish, that that's how they are. Just all those little fish There's CBS, there's fishy. NBC, there's ABC, <laughs> there's, you know, there's all, and they're all grabbing all that misinformation and they run with it. Um, and, but, but they, and they print it like it's gospel, right? Like it's printed in red. Like these are the spoken words, you know? Yeah. But let it be like Trump or someone on the right, and it's all like, oh, he's lying. Fact check, fact check, right? And it is just so ridiculous. And so, what are what are normal citizens, normal Joe schmoes out there? What are they supposed to believe? Like that's that, and that's the whole purpose. That's the whole purpose of this conversation is that they don't care. They're just throwing so much misinformation out there, man. If you log in tonight. Or, onto social media let's like tickety talky if you want to jump on that tickety talk right and you get on there you're gonna see so much straight lies right like one of the things is like uh a couple weeks ago they were talking about um camilla being the border czar right and everybody's like she, they never said that. That is nonsense. CNN, everybody's saying, no, you know, I don't know why Trump is saying this. Or I don't know why the right is saying this. It's a bunch of lies. And then all of a sudden, all these videos are popping up. Like, uh, yeah, she, that, that's what she, they called her. That's what she was, you know, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And it's just funny because they're just straight lies. And no one, oh, yeah. no one says anything. Like, you know, the, the, if you click on report this, there's a list on there. One of us says misinformation. 
but no one they're they're like just going crazy and tiktok doesn't say anything about it they don't care they're like right. oh no no unless it's impactful like unless someone from the less complains then everything gets shut down and you get you go to social media prison right and that's hard to get out of there sometimes i know i had so, a, i had like 15 aliases at one point to stay on facebook i was just crazy so, so I just looked this up right now. So this this will give you all an idea of how stuff gets turned around and scrubbed and everything else. Now, you would think a few weeks uh, ago here, uh, the biggest thing in the news was the assassination attempt, right? So I typed into Google just assassination attempt on. What's the first one that pops up? Kennedy? Truman. 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 Oh, wow. right. Reagan. Lenin. John Paul II. Hitler movie, Gerald Ford, Franklin Roosevelt, Andrew Johnson, uh, Harry Truman. Now, who didn't pop up? Obviously, Donald, uh, Trump. Donald Trump. And then who else didn't pop up? Kennedy. Kennedy. Really? Wouldn't, isn't that really? like one of the most famous yeah. assassinations? How about Robert attempts? Kennedy? Did he pop up? No. No. Wow. Truman, Reagan, Lennon, John Paul. II. So, and, and for all of you out there now, you know, uh, Get on uh, Google. Kennedy hasn't and, been verified yet. And yeah, the CIA. Did. Well, C the thing is, CIA Google, hasn't been cleared. <laughs> Google is already squashing this and trying to get it where it's not in popular media, right? So the algorithm, the AI, and all that stuff is not going to put that out there. But they are going to put out anything that's going to be negative towards the other party. So um, yeah, the misinformation thing is 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 real. Um, the Washington Post, you were mentioning it about uh, Hillary Clinton. There's two things from the Washington Post that were printed and put in their paper and everything went out to the public. Number one, and everybody remembers all this, the Russian hackers invade the U.S. electricity grid to deny Vermonters heat during the winter. It was completely false, right? But they went ahead and printed that. And there was no uh, there was no apology or anything like that. They didn't do another, you know, thing next week saying, sorry, we were wrong. Now they're never wrong. They're just, uh, you know, they just, uh, but, Oh, don't, don't pay attention to that. Br breeze past it. The next one, again, Washington post, su surprise, surprise, a new deranged surprise, anonymous surprise. group declares mainstream political sites on the left and right to be Russian propaganda outlets and the Washington Post touts its reports to claim massive Kremlin infiltration of the Internet. So right there, you can see that 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 whole Russia, Russia, Russia thing, you know, like it was said so many times, was just a bunch of malarkey. Now, do I think that the Russians, the Chinese, Middle Eastern uh, countries, you know, like the like Iran and other places like that, North Korea, do I think that they're not trying to get into our political space of course they are um is it really to you know make the election go one way or the other i you know i don't know what I, what I, benefit I, what I think, benefit would it be for them one way or the other i think the last um, person they want that would be trump honestly it wouldn't benefit them you know yeah. so for people to say that they want him in there it, like the Russians are trying to get him in there. Like even when uh, I think it was uh, old man, Joe asked, was talking about it and they're like, Oh, you know uh, d about um, what's his name? Um, the, the president in Russia, Putin. Oh, even, Putin. Uh, yeah. He even says like, Putin. Oh yeah. You know, I, I, you know, I got along with, with, with Trump and you know, you know, he, 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 he was all right. So yeah. I, I, you know, like he, People just uh, you, you've seen videos of him walking into like the U.N. or different places. He had a presence to him. You know, he was a businessman, oh, yeah. man. He'd walk in there like he ran shit. You know what I mean? And I'm like, yeah, that's, yeah. that's right. And it wasn't like, oh, yeah, that's my daddy. That's like, yeah, that's America, baby. <laughs> you know, right. you respect. Well, you, 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 there's that one clip, just one of them, where he walks by and he like taps the prince. Yeah, you're not supposed to shoulder, touch him. And you're not supposed to touch him. And that guy like you know, shakes his hand, nods to him and everything. And they really, they liked him because he was no nonsense with. He was a businessman, you know, bro. He's a businessman. And that's all of those guys in the Middle East. They are a hundred percent all business. The only reason they go to war is when you mess with their business. Right. Yeah, and really that's what our war machine does. You know, it goes to war or someone lets a woman drive. 
They, they go to war to that too. They're not supposed to be doing that. But anyway, <laughs> but you mentioned you mentioned They're earlier. Beat her. Yeah, <laughs> you mentioned earlier about the, about the uh, assassination attempt, right? Um, that was another thing. I, I think one of the major uh, news outlets. I don't know if it was CBS or ABC. Uh, I, it was one of them. They refused refused to put assassination. One says that he fell. And that the Secret oh, Service yeah. rushed the stage to help him yeah. up. You know, the other one said that, right. that they heard a large bang or or, or something. Uh, yeah. Re- like they refused. He, they, and apparently there was something going on saying, hey, do not put on there as an assassination until you get confirmation. It's so funny. Right. Like they wanted confirmation from everybody in the world. But they're so quick to put out their misinformation from the left. Right. right? So even I think it was a week ago. Someone said they they started bringing up like oh it was shrapnel it was glass from from the podium the the teleprompters oh and teleprompter blah, yeah yeah they're like this and that and and you know right and, and they're like FBI came out and said like no it was an actual bullet you know what I mean it, it, right. it wasn't shrapnel so you know it's things like that that I, I think at this point people don't even care like who's whoever's saying it uh, I'm saying people but they're probably just idiots um, whoever throws this out there the whole point is to get people misinformed because unfortunately you have people on both sides right that they grab it and Absolutely. they run because you have some far right people you know that you and i both have mm-hmm. I've seen them that will grab anything or like that's 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 gospel again you know right. and the progressive left is it clearly more extreme now it used to be different it used to be the right was very extreme and now the left is like gone off the the, the, the deep end um and and they'll run with it. It doesn't matter that remember that guy was telling we talked about him a couple episodes ago, uh Harry Sison. Um he's oh, that, yeah. the, the little guy that that talks about uh he's like on that freaking Biden chuck wagon, right? He he's like he was in love with him. I think like he fantasized about him. he might have posters in his house about him. I don't know. But anyway, he I don't wanna know. He he <laughs> But he would just throw out there all kinds of misinformation and and lies and things like that. It's just ridiculous. I mean, it happens every day. We could sit on politics all day and talking about the misinformation, but it, it's everywhere. Global warming, right? No, they're big misinformation. Everybody's talking about all this. You know, they're talking about the sea levels are, are going high, uh, they're going up, and then they show pictures of like dams going down. Like every like, okay, which is it? Is it we're evaporating um, or the 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 polar caps are melting. What? How could it can't be one or the other? You know what I mean? It has to right. be one or the other, not both. I don't know, but it's funny. Like you go and they see these pictures, and you can find them on the internet. They'll show like a castle back back in the days and its heydays when it was very popular. And if you look at the ocean levels, and then you see the castle in ruins, like forty years later, fifty, sixty years later, the water levels like the same. Like nothing's yeah. changed, right? And this is going back in the eighties. Remember back in the eighties, like in ten years, the water levels are going to be so high, right. we're going to lose the <laughs> coasts and all this stuff. And then we talked; it was just ridiculous things that I think by this point, by twenty twenty four, where we're at now, um, we were sh- we should have been dead. I think we're all gone. None of us right. exist anymore. We burned up. Um, we fell into the black hole. I don't know, but again, this misinformation <laughs> happens everywhere. And, and well, that's what. It's it's funny you you were mentioning about you know water levels and stuff like that. So a really big one. Um, so there there's not a lot of places that you can have like an actual uh, accurate water level line mm-hmm. that pictures have been taken, um, you know, for a long time. And one of the places that pictures have been taken because it's a historical place is at the Statue of Liberty. And it's on an island, and that island it has a, a sheer side to it, and you can see how far it is to the top, you mm-hmm. know, from the sea level. Now, some people may be like, well, it's in a bay, it's not in the ocean. Well, that ocean, it, you know, it's, the Atlantic it's, Ocean. Right. It's fed from the ocean. To it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, how do you think people got from <laughs> Europe over, you yeah. know? So they have pictures from you know way back in the day they're all black and white and everything and then they're taking pictures now and they're like the level's the same right and and i think we talked about this in one of our episodes um if people want to read up on something so is there um environmental catastrophes that are happening around the world 
There are actually, but they're not based around what the media is trying to sell you. And, and the sad thing is that they're trying to tell you that there is this unknown thing, right? It's CO2. It's this, it's all these things you can't see, but right. if they tax you enough and you give them enough money, they'll fix it for us. Hmm. Of course, they can't even fix the homeless in a city and poop on the street. So they're not going to fix how much CO2 is in the air, obviously, but clearly. So, um, the, uh, the money that they're trying to get, you know, obviously isn't going to go to all this stuff. And it really hasn't gone to all this stuff. Uh, I took a, you know, recent trip over to Cali and, and, uh, it was so funny. We stopped by and went to a place that had, guess what? Paper straws. What was the paper straw for? A a plastic cup. (laughs) Was it, was it, was it Starbucks? It was. And it's the dumbest (laughs) thing in the world, you know? And it's like, you guys are such like ding dong hypocrites about all this kind of stuff. So, um, anyhow, but yeah, but, so, so the water levels and things like that aren't changing the way you would think. Now, if you get some of the places in the Pacific and, and Atlantic too, where they are having beach erosion and stuff like that, they're like, well, it's the climate and the water and this and that. No. So look it up. Look at sand erosion that's been happening all around the world and look at the importance of sand that is used in construction and all these other kind of things. And they are at an alarming rate taking sand from shores and there's places in the middle East. They've taken so much sand away that now they're trying to pump it back and they have pumps that are there along their beaches 24 hours a day, pushing sand like they're, grabbing it from the ocean and putting it back grabbing it from it the, because they're trying to keep the sand there and it not to eat away at the yeah. land mass yeah. and that that is our fault because we have dug so much of that needed sand to you know use to build and over there man, well look at dubai they, they've just built yeah, in a built desert they, right. yeah they built islands out there so <laughs> hello but here's a here's a perfect example <laughs> right our our salton sea in california Oh yeah. Okay. Stinky sea. Yeah, the the stinky salton sea, right? Where fish die because <laughs> of the salinity in the in the water. Yeah. It's so high. But you know that was created back in 1905 when the Colorado River uh, overflowed. 1905. Yeah. That that sea is not fed by anything. It was a flood. They caught the dam. They fixed it, and All it right. stayed in this valley, in this deep valley, in which formed the salton sea. That was 119 years ago. It's still there. Yeah. So you're telling me that that body of water, which has n- has no inlet, right? There's it's not connected to any ocean, not connected to any river, not connected to anything. It's still there, right? And you know, to me, like, all right, if this this is is this global warmer thing happening, uh, why is this all sea still? That thing should have been with as high of a solidity that it had that thing should have been gone. It should have been like evaporated years ago. It's lasted 119 years. 119 years. 1905. You know what I'm thinking? Yeah. The only the only thing that, (laughs) if you want to say, feeds into it would be the Whitewater River. But they they stopped that in like North Palm Springs at those big. Yeah, um, that thing that doesn't run all the time. Look at that thing. No, and it stops at those big those holding ponds they have mm-hmm. in North Palm Springs. So. I used to write. I used to go down that river, by the way. Yeah, we the little, uh, little tubes. I remember we go. We used to go jet skiing in those ponds. Yeah, I think they closed them down because people were getting hurt. And they were. Well, they're, they're crazy. But it, but these are the things again. This is the misinformation because when you said it, I think best is because here's the thing about our government, right? You they can't just go they're up there. And, well, that's one of many. <laughs> But they can't just say, hey, I'm going to take this money here and put it away. They they, they got to hide money places where they could get to it, right? One of them is putting money in environmental things because they're not going to use it. You know damn well they're not using it, right? Right. This money gets goes to this little banking account 
it, that's labeled this is for envir- environmental stuff only. Don't touch it. Right. Right. But then it starts like getting, your gas tax. Yeah. And it starts getting drained from the bottom end. Right. You, oh, but yeah. we need let's take it from here because it's kind of, you know, this kind of is for the environment. And, it you know, right. uh, we got to study <laughs> the cuckoo bird that's, you know, in the, you know, it's just stuff, crazy stuff, right? The dodo bird. It's oh, yeah. Gone. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's just so many, or the white-toed lizard. The reason they closed the dunes in, in Cali because of this little lizard. I'm like, right. it's a lizard, bro. It's a li- circle of life, man. But anyway, it, it's just th- these really dumb things that they do. You know, same thing with the Pentagon. They just, what they do, they gave billions of dollars extra to um, Ukraine. Oh. That, <laughs> they're, they're like, oh, I don't, we don't know how that happened. Must have been some we, clerical error. You know yeah, what I mean? We don't the know Pentagon where it's at now. The Pentagon loses so much money. Remember that time they lost? I don't know how many billions of dollars to. Uh, God, I can't remember what it was. Uh, and now this, and I'm like, huh? Yeah. I go crazy when I misplace a twenty dollar bill. You know what I mean? <laughs> and these fools are in the billions, and they're like, ah, it's a clerical error. We'll figure yeah, it out. No, no, no and, then, and then no one talks about it anymore. You know what I mean? So, um, again, because everything's fed with misinformation and everything, right. you know. It, it, and so these are the things that, that are so upsetting. And that's the thing that irritates me the most is, like, why, why is it always one-sided? Like, why don't you fact check these things that are coming out? Why is it only like, oh, let's target this guy? Because it's it's what sells. You know, it's 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 right. what moves people. It creates division. It it it's kind of like religion, right? You, you people start talking about one thing or the other, it starts dividing people. Again, there's misinformation about religion. There's so much you know things going on. Here's another one. Um, so the Olympics started not too long ago, right? And and I know I we wanted to talk about this, but I'm like, nah. I'm kind of over it. Did you did, you you heard all that the scandal about the opening of the of the 20, oh, yeah. 24 Paris Olympics, right? And how they did uh uh it seemed like it was a parody of the Last Supper, which is right. which is held in in uh in 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 high regard to Christians and Catholics. And uh so right away, right away the misinformation started going. People saying like, "No, it was some it was some demigod diocese or something like that that they were celebrating and blah 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 that's not true you guys are a bunch of hypocrites you know the the simpsons have done it and 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 you know uh all these other people the soprano sat in one way and blah you know they they claim that all the and they probably did you know they probably did um but they weren't mocking it they just sat like there and like looking at it you know so what was the big the big problem? The big problem wasn't that that you know if they would have just sat there were a bunch of Olymp- Olympians sitting there looking like the last supper, not a big deal. But when you have transformers doing all kinds of sexual innuendos and things like that, and then right. ended ending it like the last supper, that that is disrespectful. But again, you have the lefties, the 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 progressive uh um left the 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 uh social media war saying you guys are full of it it wasn't that it was diocese or however you say it some 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 demigod or something right but you know what's funny i think shortly after that the uh the olympic committee the actual olympic committee came on and for in paris came on and apologized for doing that for mocking it so they admitted it so I'm like, okay, see, you, why are you guys? Yeah, because <clears throat> you wouldn't apologize if it what if, if you say, well, we're not going to apologize for it. We this is specifically what it was, but exactly what you're saying, they set it up so it was a mockery mm-hmm. of the Last Supper, right? And you know what, man, I'm one of those people that I can laugh. at pretty much anything and and uh you know i don't take things too seriously right right but my my problem with this is how much the christian faith is demeaned and everything and you and i talked about this a little bit before we started the show today so let me ask all of you out there a question would you ever say the, if you were very upset would you ever say the word allah damn it now uh what's his name um the guy that does the puppets and all that. <laughs> What's it, Jeff Dunham? Oh, Dunham, yeah. Uh, he's got his one little character. That that one would probably say Allah, damn it. Oh yeah. Um, h- how about how about Buddha, damn it? 
Nobody says that, right? No. What, what's the word that we say? Starts with a G and ends with damn it. Yeah. So why why do people that are atheists and everybody else use that wording? Because they know it is powerful, right? And here's the thing. So everybody's like, yeah, I don't believe in God. I don't believe in this kind of stuff. I'm an atheist, whatever. Okay. So would you guys stand up for Muslims, let's say? So in 2015, uh, January sometime, I forget the exact date. Let me look it up really quick. There was a uh, um, Charlie Hebdo. You remember that? That French satirical magazine. They had one of the guys had drawn a picture. Oh yeah, of, yeah, yeah. Moh- of Muhammad. Yeah, right. Yeah, I and um, let me see what the date was. Anyways, uh, he had drawn that, and um, the Muslim people got really upset and like basically we're gonna we're going to end it for you guys, you know? And so there we go. France is emerging. So obviously this is back in 20, 2015, but France is emerging from one of its worst security crises in decades after three days of attacks, three days of attacks by gunmen brought bloodshed to the capital Paris, capital city of Paris and its surrounding areas. It began with a massacre at the offices of satirical magazine, Charlie Hebdo on Wednesday, the 7th of January. This is in 2015 and ended with a huge police operation and two sieges uh, two days later. So they didn't like that. (laughs) It made them very upset. And right now people would back that up and say, oh, yeah, you shouldn't make fun of the Muslims or anything. Well, why not? You know, now I agree. I don't think you should be making fun of Mohammed or the that's the way they want to believe. That's the way they want to believe. Leave them alone. And the same thing with Christians. So if you have been like, if you're, if you call yourself an atheist or devil worshiper or whatever you want to say, and you're going to stand behind the Muslims. It's called a global and, leader. You don't, it's not, a, it's not a devil worshiper. It's called a global leader, global leader or, oh, okay. or Hollywood or Hollywood movie star. The Hollywood movie star. <laughs> <laughs> so we call them now. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, if you're, again an atheist or something like that and that's that's fine again it's your prerogative to you know i'll pray for you but you uh that's your prerogative and it's a free country if you're living here in the united states for you to choose that that's what this country is all about but now you're going to stand and fight for people that believe in something that you say you don't believe in which would be muhammad and 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 yet you're going to spit on anything that's oh, christian or that's Jesus what's happening but that's what's happening well, even now with the the all them white folks and waving them palestinian flags you know what i mean it's the same thing bro it is the well it's, it's all indoctrination you know, you know we say we say guys have never are... been anywhere that's a darker tone than their own and they're fighting for palestine you know what i mean get a out of darker here. tone <laughs> than their own I like well come on you know let's let's be yeah. real let's be real the, i think the most tan they've gotten is in the tan boot tanning booth at their local salons you know or or gyms they, they, these you know come on while they're eating or while they're drinking their starbuckies and the shopping Starbuckies. at at their newest apple phone come on Let's let's get real. I mean, mommy and daddy are buying your tuition, and you want you want a cause, and, and your cause is the the, the free Palestine. Yeah, I, you know, I mean, get out of here with that stuff. So anyway, that's just <clears> get it. I um, hate this country, but I want it to pay for my schooling. Yeah, yeah. Too, yeah so. so so I'll give you a couple more, and I know you had some stuff you wanted to go on with. So here's a couple from CNN. Uh, first one: CNN Trump's aide Anthony Scaramucci is involved in a Russian hedge fund and was under Senate investigation. That was balls uh cnn also put out explicitly lied about uh lanny davis being its source for a story whose substance was also false cohen would testify that trump knew in advance about the trump uh tower meeting so it's you know again they put all this stuff out there and so and we know now that the hunter biden laptop deal actually that's a russian collusion russian collusion (laughs) <laughs> and it, right, and it was Russian collusion, and everybody knows now that it was true because everything's been leaked at this point, right? Yeah, but where so, is it at now? It's gone. So, well, because at this point, it's not important anymore, especially now that you know uh, Joe's stepping down or whatever he's doing. I don't understand what's going on. Shh, don't but, don't say it too loud. You wake him up. 
Keep it down. He's, uh, he's, he's over there with he's ice memes. cream dripping off his couch, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Jill, where you at? Jill, where you at? She's like, nowhere. Sign wait. this document. I get everything when you die. I need to smell your hair. Anyway. <laughs> But no, you're, where's my granddaughter? Oh my God! Here oh. we go! Here we go! Here we go! I, I'm surprised I didn't say that first. Anyway, <laughs> oh, he's a he's a sicko, man. But you know, you, but you're right, and and I, I blame all these media. Out, you know, there was a time when 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 men of the news were were revered as as great men yeah. because they you know they wouldn't they wouldn't go out on there unless they they one that any any source that they got was a credible source and they and they had to have right. like two people verify that this person was credible you know just, there was so many factors before anything hit the hit the airwaves because it, to them their integrity was very important man you could you could get a you could get a reporter at the at the nickel and dime store. You know what I mean? You, there's there's no integrity. There's no checking up and following on sources. It's just like, you know, hey, did you hear what I heard? No, who said it? I don't know, but it, it sounded good. Oh, let's let's print it. You know what I mean? People they don't take the time anymore, and and I think that's their goal because at the end of the day, and I know I'm going to sound like you as as a conspiracy theorist, but at the end of the day. Those those big, strong, um, very well rooted um, news agencies are owned by by lefties. They are owned by the progressive left, and yeah. and it's going to be their information that goes out. You know that's why um, you right. get you get you get these smaller reporters that are starting off their own companies to give you good news, not just the right news, but meaning the right side, but both sides of the news, that's accurate news. Right. They're, they're, they're always trying to discredit them, you know, or, or saying they're sneaky or that yeah. they're, they do this or, but that's the thing. They have to go undercover to get the truth because everyone's yeah. lying about it. Everybody's giving misinformation. Everybody, you know, it's, it, it, it there's going to be a turning point and it kind of, it frightens me right now because honestly, I've never been, I don't think there's been a time in our existence, yours and, and yours and mine, because we're, you know, you're older than me, um, that <laughs> that uh, we've seen this kind of misinformation going out there where people are. And, and that's all it is, is just people are just confused. Right. Uh, when 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 uh, Trump not, um, named his uh, running mate, uh, J.D. Vance, all, all right away. Right. Things start popping up. Oh, look at him. He's wearing a communist Russian shirt, you know, or or, you know, he's doing this or he's doing that. This is what he said. You know, camels are here on the bandwagon. Everybody's talking all kinds of crazy stuff. You know what, man? That guy went. He There was war going on and he signed up for it and he went to fight knowing not knowing, I should say, if he was coming back or not. He loved this country and he went to protect it. You know, he did what he had to do. You know, I whether he's a hillbilly or not, whether he, he comes from poor roots or not, it's none of our business. You know, it really isn't, you know, it, it, whether he changed his name or he didn't, you know, and and that's the thing. People want to send so much misinformation out there, whether it's through social media outlets, whether it's the news, whether it's just people talking just to get people that much confused because, you know, when you're when you're talking about Karen, that thirty five to forty five year old Karen on the left side, you tell her that you know the Pope has accepted um, all kinds of trans stuff. She's gonna believe it. Well, actually, that was a bad example because he did. So um, I'll take that back. So yeah, he did. <laughs> that was a horrible example. So dang what, it, the, the dang it. The point is that they're they're ready. These Karens are ready to listen to anything. And if it favors their belief system, they're going to run with it. They're like, oh, no, that's true. Oh, yeah. That is true. No, oh, no, no. I heard it from a reliable source. And who's your who's your reliable source? The other Karen down the street. She knows everything. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, it, it's it's ridiculous. And it's sad because all these kids are falling for it, you know, and, and I, I don't know, man, like. I, people don't do that. They, they don't, they don't study things anymore. They don't research. They don't do anything, man. And, and it's kind of crazy. So, yeah, the, uh, you know, some of the guys I I'd looked them up cause I, I remembered, but I forgot these guys' names, but you had like, uh, um, David, David Brinkley, uh, Edward Murrow, Walter Cronkite, mm -hmm. just some of the people that, you know, like when you, 
go back to that. Tom oh, yeah. Brokaw, Peter Jennings. I remember Tom Brokaw. Tom Brokaw and, uh, was, yeah, man. I love uh, his voice. Remember, yeah, the, him and Walter the, Cronkite. Yeah, the Gulf War. Remember, yeah. he was he was like over there in a vest yeah. and everything, and yeah. and um, yeah, there was a lot of a lot even of that guys even... that really really cared. Oh and, yeah, you know we're yeah. we're great reporters and. And they re- they just flat reported the news. They just it reported what their, they were seeing. They reported they, what they were seeing. Their opinion nope. or anything like that. And nope. and that's the thing. It's like that's fine if people have an opinion, but it it shouldn't be like a generalized news source. That should be an opinion column, then, right? It should be right, right. Some kind of uh, news station that is opinionated because you know, kind of like us, on, we're opinionated. Yeah, people on the on the left will say they hate Fox. Well, I don't like Fox either. I think they do a lot of dumb stuff too. However, one of the things is not just that it's skewed a little bit more to the right, but I notice when they do report stuff, they pretty much report accurate on what's going on, but I still don't like the channel, you know? Yeah. And, and I've same thing watching with C- so yeah, me too. And, and like CNN saying it's completely the opposite. The side. corrupt news so, network. Corrupt News Network. So you have these two channels, right, that are reporting on their side of the fence or what they're told to report on their side of the fence. Again, that's it right there. You know, uh, these people that own these things, maybe their whole thing is they they don't care if you're getting the truth. They care that they're confusing you. you. They're dividing you. Confusing and dividing people. And that's what it is. Because we've talked, you and I have talked about this before. I've talked to groups of people, right, that have cut the cable, stopped watching TV Mm -hmm. and news and Mm -hmm. tried to move away from that. Like, I haven't had cable in, I don't know how many, you've known for a long time with me, man. I haven't had cable at all. And all of us, all all of us, man, (laughs) all of us, (laughs) that's a whole different episode. Why are you Uh, bringing that up? (laughs) Why are you bringing that up? Dang it. That was a surprise for next year. So. <clears throat> all of us that have cut the news guess guess where which direction we lean conservative to the right all of us all of us and people that have continuously i mean i had a family member that was pretty conservative and ended up watching the communist news network day after day and guess which way he ended up leaning left lefty yeah. lefty lucy isn't that crazy how that works? Yeah. So you you can be fed a diet of misinformation on either side. Okay, you I'm can. not picking a side. Absolutely, on this. absolutely. Yeah, you can be fed a diet of misinformation on either side, and you will believe it eventually. It'll you know you'll just start to think, oh, yep, two See, and two I, is five. I, I think that the, one of the biggest uh, problems uh, with the people, and and again, this is more misinformation that people on the left think that oh those MAGA Republicans they they like they worship uh, Trump and blah blah I this is here's the difference there I only follow and worship one person and that's and that's God Trump I support because I think he does well for the country there's a big difference between supporting someone and worshiping someone you know I don't oh, yeah. a very big difference where you know on the left they they that's their God, you know, like Joe Sleepy Obama. Joe, is, oh, man, that that guy started the race wars within our own country. But, you know, they they fall into that category where there are um, obsessive, you know, and, and yeah. we're obsessive in, in other ways. We're obsessive with our families. We're obsessive with our religion. We're obsessive with different things, our guns and our ammos and things like that. Right. And And very different kind of obsession you know but we our stuff is all categorized and there there's a level of 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 um where each of those categories fall there's you know we have a priority list what's our number one priority and what falls underneath that where the other side is just like you know you're you guys are crazy this is what we're gonna do and this is all you know they're they're very selfish and and i hate to see that because you know if we go back to the old days where news was just that it was news they're just reporting what they're seeing um anything else is like we haven't researched it we got to see what's going on you know it, 
we'll follow up with it. And you heard that a lot. You know, this is all we have at the moment. We'll follow up next uh, in the next couple of hours and see what they go. You know, even the old guy from Mutual of Omaha Animal Kingdom was honest about oh, yeah. about things, you know. And and yeah. you remember that show? I used to love that yeah. show. God, I was Mutual a kid. Of Omaha. Yeah, that's back. That's back in the days Wild when when Kingdom. big. Hey, that's back in the days when the big companies like Mutual Omaha would would sponsor a whole show. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah back in the yeah. day. But um, th- and that's the thing, man, that 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 people are so quick to digest any BS that they're fed. And that's just ridiculous. You know what? Yeah. We've come so far down that that humanity um, graph where, you know, as, as we progress in the years, we should get smarter. Bro, we took a dip, you know, a huge oh, yeah. dip back in the Obama administration, right? It just went went right down. We lost religion. We lost um, our, our our care for each other. We lost um, our care for our nation. We our, for our families. We lost everything. Every, yeah. every, everything just went down the tubes, and it seems like it's progressively getting worse. And and it's sad because people always run to that misinformation. And and I think that's horrible. I think people should stop doing that. People should stop watching the news, stop paying for these people's cars and 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 stop listening to to these these little rock bands and these globalists that have millions of dollars who fly in private jets sucking up fuel tell you about global warming. That how much of a hypocrisy hypocrisy is that bro yeah. you guys are ruining the nation as they're flying in their lear jets to a a summit <laughs> you know what i mean i'm like i'm like look bro take electric vehicles take an electric boat i don't know but stop talking crap about fossil fuel when you're using that exact same thing to get you to a to a summit about fossil fuel you know what i mean it's yeah. just it's just so funny it's like Where's the hypocrisy end? You know, I don't, I don't know, bro. It's, it's just to me, it's just like so crazy, you know? Yeah, I, I don't I don't think it does end. Uh, I'll leave you with a couple excerpts from some past news articles that were false. But I will leave you with one thing before then. So uh, after taking a trip um, over to Cali, so the. This is like a week ago. The I-15 freeway mm-hmm. that's in California was shut down for like two days. What the? You know why? Why? What happened? Because there was a truck, um, and it had it was a like electric truck or whatever. Yeah, and it had those batteries in it that the fire department couldn't put out, so they had to like let it burn. And no way. <laughs> yeah, the irony yeah. in that. Oh my. Yeah. Right? Is that crazy? <laughs> so funny. So save save our environment by using electric vehicles that that send up horrible uh chemicals in the air when they're burning. It's like burning tires. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> crazy. Oh man. Uh the hazardous fire prompted both sides of the freeway to be shut down while crews worked to, to contain the flames due to the lithium ion water uh water cannons. Uh, could not be used to combat the fire. The batteries must burn out on their own, said the San Bernardino County Fire Department. Lithium ion fires are particularly hazardous due to the chemicals released during off gassing and the potential for ther- uh, thermal runaway. So thermal runaway is where it like like a volcano, you know, where that hot lava and I'm using the wrong word. I don't know what it is, guys. You guys can post down below what it is. But basically this stuff runs off and it's just like this molten gunk you know and it's all pyrotechnic flow (laughs) traffic started to build up for miles and authorities worked to get the seventy five thousand pound container moved off the highway (sighs) yeah so it was like some kind of generator battery truck or whatever hey we don't want to talk about um all those all those people i should say all those kids that are in the mines getting some of those chemicals for to make those batteries let's let's leave that out of the equation Mm. Right. Listen, I, I, I am, uh, I'm like really all for hybrid vehicles, uh, I battery know. vehicles, battery vehicles, I think are a cool idea. I think they're so far from being perfected at this point. The whole, ba- the, the storage is not 
good yet. The lithium ion, all these things that they have to get rare earth materials doesn't make any sense. It makes as much sense to me as getting rid of plastic straws and replacing them with paper to put that paper in an even bigger plastic cup. Yeah, it's right. so hypocritic. So uh, we'll leave you with these couple here. Um, CNN and M MSNBC ran one on Donald Trump Jr. was offered advanced access to the WikiLeaks email archive. That was completely false. NBC and MSNBC, kind of in the same uh, platform there, Russia attacked U.S. diplomats, i.e. spies, at the Cuban embassy using a super sophisticated sonic microwave weapon. That was not true. <laughs> Slate, The Guardian, and BuzzFeed have all been... Uh, in some of these things, and here's a couple of them. Trump created a secret internal server to uh, covertly communicate with a Russian bank. <laughs> Let's just print that. Let's go for it. Just print. That sounds print legit. It, go. it sounds <laughs> legit. <laughs> Uh, Paul Manafort visited Julian Assange three times in the Ecuadorian embassy, and nobody noticed. Did you really think that would have happened? Nobody would have noticed? Uh, Robert uh, Mueller... I don't know. They lost. They, they lost uh, Joe Biden in the White House for two days too. I don't know. Could have. Could happen. <laughs> they couldn't find the cocaine either. So, man, those people are. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to say about this stuff anymore. So everybody, don't believe everything you read and everything you see, and definitely research it quite a bit. Get more than one source because, boy, there's some there's some uh, tomfoolery out there. That's for yeah. sure. And if you're gonna use the news. Uh, as your research to vote for someone, you're already starting off on the back, on the wrong foot, man. Do your research yeah. outside of that. Um, stop googling things. Google belongs to an extreme left person too. So you know, go out there and, and y'all forgot about them, but we still got libraries out there. Go get a, your local library. Go pick up some books, or you know, a great a great place to look at the actual person is actually most everybody that's running for any kind of office even local government stuff even like council members they have their own website mm -hmm. you know and you can go to it and see what their um you know what their policies and things that they believe in and everything i know one of the local ones here i went to a bunch of the council people one of them i saw some people that they were standing with and i'm like that's not good who they are hanging yeah. out with. And I'm like, that one's checked off the list. And they have to follow, so, they have to follow certain rules when they're putting stuff on their website um, because it is a government website and uh, yeah. they have to follow, they have to be honest. They don't right. have to be honest when they're elected, but they have to be honest prior to that. So right. um, they, yeah. they have to disclose all this information on there's disclosure stuff that's on there. So that's a good idea. Good job, Jay. On that yeah. One. So definitely, definitely do your research. All right, everybody. Well, thanks again for joining us on another episode and following us down the rabbit hole of uh, information. <laughs> misinformation. <laughs> misinformation. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe we were lying about everything. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm not really Joe. Maybe I'm Jay. Ooh, hey, we've been, nah, uh, we've, been, nah. we've been we've been tricking everybody yeah, all along. Yeah. So, all right, well, uh, make sure you check us out every Tuesday. We do a uh, uh, deal here every Tuesday for Outspoken and uh, mid month Wednesdays we do Outspoken Men's, Men's Edition. Edition. Yeah, check us out online at all of our social media platforms at Linktree forward slash Joe and Jay Outspoken. All right, everybody, make sure you take care of one another. Do better, be better. And as always, God bless, God bless America. America. We'll see you again. See ya.